Is that a yo-yo? That is such a creative idea. I've never seen anything like that. Great! On my Honkai Impact 3rd cinematic journey, today we have come to character impression trailer of S rank Battlesuit Deep Space Anchor First Light. I feel like we don't typically get character demos for Honkai Impact, so I'm really excited to check this out. If you've been enjoying our time together, please check out some of the other videos we've covered on this channel. All right, let's do it. Honkai Lore Masters, join me in battle. Awesome. Huh. I like that. <laughs> it was really good viral. And she's already doing it. Oh, really cool. Wow. Amazing tracking shot there. That was awesome. There's a smoothness to this. Alright, this is great. Yeah, you don't typically see these from third, right? It's amazing work. Is that a yo yo? That is such a creative idea. I've never seen anything like that. Great! Amazing shot selection, too. I like how the camera like almost can't keep up with her and it's really following the tracking. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow, like roller skates and yo-yos on roller skates. This is crazy, man. What a cool character idea. Music, too, right? Huh? Got a crowd forming. Oh boy, maybe some enemies. Wow, I love how it's a choreography to the music video, but at the same time, it's showcasing all the skills for battle. Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> She's a show off, man. She's a show off. Alright man, look there's so many great shots of Tony using the yo-yo to push the camera and then catching it back. Alright. Mm, yeah, I'm impressed. This is incredible. What the heck? <laughs> this is gonna be her uptight friend. Oh! That is so fun, man. So I have so many questions about that. I, I love that. That was absolutely fantastic. I love how they didn't show her fighting. They showed her kind of showcasing her moveset, which I assume can be used for combat. I have so many questions about the gameplay in Honkai 3rd now. I know they recently like updated the engine, right? So does this mean it's a lot more like action oriented and exploration oriented? Because it gives the feeling that you're going to be exploring in the city. So Lore Masters, help me out with that. What's going on here? Also, is this character like a warrior or are they someone who's more of like a, sounds like a YouTuber or something who's going to use their skills to fight, but isn't necessarily like that. But anyways, I absolutely loved it. I want to break down some of the shots because wow, that was really amazing. Um, and like I said, make sure to subscribe, hop in our Discord. Uh, we have a great, amazing uh, Honkai community and uh, Hoyoverse stuff that we talk about. And let me know if there's any, any other videos you want me to cover from this. All right, let's look at it. Dangerous stunt. So I like at this point she's already out of the uh, she's already out of the picture, not listening anymore. It says a lot about the reckless kind of attitude, and I love that. Yeah. But I like how the music kind of erupts here. And it becomes this beat that's kind of like super energetic. And then later, only when you know the character is kind of showing off more, does it add the lyrics and it adds a whole other realm of sort of personality to it. But I want to talk about these shots because so we have this awesome shot where she drops down, and I love how it's a one shot. It does not cut, and there's this really cool feeling of momentum again, as if you're watching her go by. And you notice there's a little bit of camera movement. I wouldn't call it camera shake, which can be quite annoying and distracting. It's almost as if you're looking up like, what in the whoa? And she goes by, right? So check this out. Boom! So cool. And it gives it a little bit of a human perspective to it. 
Yeah, and it just shows like kind of a, a sense of scale. Also, a cool camera trick that they used here is they had her move a little bit zoom, from sort of like this part of the kind of rightmost third of the screen, just a little bit over there. So it gives a sense of movement as she crosses the frame. That was cool. And like, what is this? This is why I have so many gameplay questions. Like, is this exploration gameplay that you're going to be able to do in the game? If so, I'm going to have to play this game. <laughs> I've still not played it yet. Now you'll notice, I was just going to say, they're adding a lot of this kind of cool, like almost like manga style uh, or manhwa style, you know, stuff that's happening in the background. Boom and smoke and everything, which is a little bit more sort of keyframed, it looks like, instead of it in engine. But like, what is this? I need to get some music ready. Now you'll notice for these shots, we have a uh, very wide angle lens. How can we tell that? Well, look at the distortion on the character. Um, and this was done really wisely, I think. Um, as we come in, there's this beautiful kind of stretching of the character to kind of show the epicness of this very heroic uh, athletic stance. From the wide angle lens, it has stretched the leg a little bit, but it's also shown to increase the size of this kind of yo-yo, uh, really cool shoe that she has on. So I love that. And then the same thing happens as she stands up. You can see, look at how grand, you know, her leg stretches across the entire screen and everything. And that's because of the wide angle lens. Good choice there. And then what a cool transition. And right in the beat drop, the yo-yo, or whatever it is, Boom, look at the detail and the textures. So cool, so cool. And I like how they give a little detail here. It says, Deep Space Anchor First Light version 7.3 update. Man, this character looks fun. But my main question is about the sort of like fighting gameplay. So curious. Yeah, but I love the idea. See, we're getting a sort of diegetic feel to this. She's put the headphone in her ear right as the music says. She was like, I gotta get some music going. Puts it on as we hear it, right? So it's both source music in her world. She's hearing a song that exists in her world, but it's also source music for us. We're listening to a song that was recorded in our world, right? So it's kind of a cool crossover there while, you know, blending diegetic and source music. Cool. She's got like an mp3 player right there, which is great. So this is where stuff gets crazy. Beautiful shot here. Again, kind of utilizing the full frame. Really well done. You have the yo-yo over there. Awesome. It's just so much use. And you'll see in most of the shots, what I'm talking about is consistent here. Kind of stretching the character across the screen and to show the kind of scope of how far she's stretching and using that string, we have it, um, you know, all the way across the frame, which is very cleverly done in a very sort of like Spider-Man way, you know? <clears throat> it's awesome. That is so cool. I mean, come on, that's such a cool concept to be like skating across, across the glass on a window. Come on. And you have these little details like the people inside going, oh, I love that. And then she kind of skids, uh, almost like she's going to hit the camera. And there it is. I mean, the word anchor, right? Deep space anchor. There, there you have it. She's waving at people and stuff. I like how the character is very carefree, you know, just looking to get some cool vids and listen to music and stuff. That's got to be another character, right? Looks a little too well designed. That's got to be another character. I'm not familiar with this character, though. Man, have I missed other character demos like this? I swear I've never seen it. <laughs> that was so cool. So what I like about this is it actually has a martial feel to it. Um, again, the sort of stretching across the entire frame. Then we have essentially a leg sweep that you would see like in Shaolin or other martial arts. Um, it's a really cool way. But I like how we kind of linger there for a second. And we have the sparks flying off and stuff. Almost like to show the uh, intensity. It's just... Boom, it's got a breakthrough. Boom, this very satisfying way, but it also emphasizes the power. You know? It's just really well done. I mean, come on, these shots are incredible. Let's look at that one in slow. So she jumps up and we cut to this really cool shot. Just cutting across the frame. I really like this. Cutting across the frame like that. Fantastically done. 
And this is what makes me think this is a fighting style. You know, there's a lot of like attacks, even though they're meant to just look like choreography, kind of fun dance choreography. Another great shot, man. We have her kind of spinning and then expanding it out. Look at that. And it comes out across this thing again. Notice it went all the way across the frame from the left side to the right third. And then I love this where she's just doing her thing and then there's a crowd drawn. And then as we saw earlier, she's, she's all about the spectacle, right? So now she's actually gonna lean into it. I love it. And I love how the music just kind of breaks down at this point. It's so much fun. So cool. And you'll notice there's a lot of sort of transition between a wider angle and a long lens to kind of go portrait mode, come back out. It's really nice. Oh, I like that. It was just like one frame. But look at this. Right? What well, we keep talking about stretching the string as far as we can across the screen, doing a yo yo showcase. Like, what is the coolest idea ever? <laughs> Do we have any yo yo masters in the chat? Is what I want to know. <laughs> uh, I like how they kind of come at it from almost like a Spider Man feel, even though it's not the same power at all. Like the idea of like strings. <laughs> it throws the wink in there, jump roping it. Come on, but see that same kind of um, sort of compositional idea is being used. I said stretching it as far as we can. Fill the frame. And now just straight up doing yo yo tricks. Like, it's so fun. It's so fun. And that's a high level of skill in real life to do that. And now it's like a weapon, right? And there's magic coming out of it. This is why I'm curious about the fighting style. But I gotta be honest, I think it's a really cool idea to not show. They usually show the people fighting, like enemies in the trailer. So I like how this one didn't do that. It's just like, yeah, just playing my yo yo's. <laughs> Fun. This is good music. Did you see that? So there was a little moment of getting lost in the sauce there, kind of like Marshall way, I think, personally. And then she comes back out. Oh, yeah, I was doing a performance. Kind of, kind of got a little into it. So fun. We got swimming lessons, which just shows again sort of the, um, the, the, the realness of the situation. We have a very, uh, you know, uh, slice of life situation here. There's not fighting. There's not war. Hey, we got swimming lessons. I love it. So fantastic work. Uh, definitely one of my favorite I've seen from Honkai. That was insane. Um, let me know if you guys are gonna pull for this character um, and if it's if it does work like that. I've actually not played the game, so I'm not sure. But thank you for watching. Make sure to hop in our Discord, like I said. And if you want to choose a video for me to react to, click that join button, become a dragoon. Thanks, guys.